The Queen knew she wasn't going to come back from Balmoral, a royal expert has claimed. Katie Nicholl claimed Queen Elizabeth II wanted to pass in Balmoral. She described the former monarch's stay in the Scottish estate as the ultimate homecoming. Speaking to the BBC's Hugh Edwards, Ms Nicholls said, the Queen knew she wasn't going to come back, to Windsor Castle or Buckingham Palace, I think she wanted to be in Balmoral and she wanted to pass there. Mr Edwards agreed, saying, the Queen, with serious health issues, decided nonetheless that she did want to spend a good deal of time at Balmoral during the summer. That decision speaks volumes really about the fact that she was a, very comfortable to be in Balmoral, somewhere where she was happy to be with lots of good memories. But knowing too, with health issues and the challenges there, it might be a difficult stay and yet she insisted on making the journey. A royal expert said the monarch wanted to pass at the Scottish estate, image, Getty, the coffin arrived at Buckingham Palace last night, image, Getty, Queen's royal photographer shares harrowing moment he realized this is the last time the last known photograph of the monarch, while she was still alive, was taken on Tuesday September 6. The Queen's royal photographer felt choked to realize that he was taking one of the final photographs of the late monarch. Read more here. Ms Nichols, Vanity Fair's royal correspondent, added, she insisted on making the journey and I think, she was the Queen of Scots and I think she wanted this to be part of her homecoming, her ultimate homecoming. She claimed that the late monarch loved Balmoral, as she was able to leave her crown at the gates. The expert explained, I think Balmoral was the one place where she could actually leave her crown at the gates and be a different role, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother. I actually think Therese a bit of her that knew she wasn't going to come back, I think she wanted to be in Balmoral and she wanted to pass there. Read more, Meghan and Harry somber before first snap with Charles since Queen death the Queen's coffin was transported back to London from Scotland, image, Getty, mourners laying flowers and cards in tribute to the Queen, image, Getty, and the fact that she did peacefully is actually a blessing in all of this. Queen Elizabeth II died last week at the age of 96. The Queen's coffin was transported back to London from Scotland, arriving at Buckingham Palace last night. Don't miss, Nicola Sturgeon pays tribute to Queen as anchor of our nation, report, Prince Harry Penn's touching tribute to Queen reunited with Grandpa, insight, Harry excluded from Balmoral dinner for new king attended by William, reveal, the Queen's expected funeral plan, image, Getty. Stranding at Will I in state in Westminster Hall from Wednesday until the day of her funeral next Monday. People who wish to pay their respects to Britain's longest training monarch can visit the Palace of Westminster in London and join 24 hour lines from Wednesday at 5 pm. It was initially estimated that 40,000 people would turn up each day. But it has since been estimated that more than 750,000 may wish to attend the five-night vigil. Paul bearers from the Queen's Colour Squadron carry the coffin to the Royal Hearse, image, Getty, the Queen will rest in her closed coffin on a raised platform. The former monarch's state funeral will take place at Westminster Abbey on September 19 at 11 am. Since her death was announced on Thursday, thousands of people have traveled to Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and Balmoral to pay their respects, 